And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna drill this out and tap it for a 3 8 18, which is what the rear is. And then I'm gonna make a bushing, a bushing insert to bring me back down to quarter inch 18 so that the original bolt still fits and I don't have to mess with, with this. All right, now here's an interesting recent teardown. Uh, this case has already been cleaned and painted, but when I was tearing it down, the forward banjo bolt for the bypass tube, when I pulled it out, all the aluminum threads came out with it. I don't know how that was secured in place. It must have had some sort of, uh, you know, Mr. Gasket or something on there, but it, the customer didn't report any leaks and I didn't see any evidence of any leaks, so they somehow sealed it anyway. Um, but when I removed it, I'm the one stuck holding the bag because now I have no threads. I can thread it in there with just what's left, but it's not enough to, uh, it's not going to be enough to torque it down to spec. So I've looked around. Um, what this is, this is quarter inch NPS. That's straight pipe threads. The rear one is 3 8 NPS. They're both 18 thread pitch. There are there are Healy coils, there are he Healy coil inserts, but I couldn't find the uh, when when you tap for a Healy coil, you need what's called an STI. That's a screw thread tap. I couldn't find one for it, um, so I figured you know what, whatever. I don't even need that. I'll make myself a bushing. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to drill this out and tap it for a 3 8 18, which is what the rear is. And then I'm gonna make a bushing, a bushing insert to bring me back down to quarter inch 18 so that the original bolt still fits and I don't have to mess with, with this. Because if I, if I go up to a 3 8 here, I have to drill this out and then I have to counter bore inside here for the relief, uh, for the oil. So I don't, even wanna, I don't even wanna get into that. That sounds really annoying. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna drill this out, tap it oversized, and put a uh, reducer bushing in that we're gonna make. So let's go make that bushing. Now, when I was uh, cutting the threads, the uh, the three eighths threads on that rod, before I did that, I made a uh, female bushing just to test fit it. So all this is is just a piece of scrap that I uh, drilled out and, and tapped it for the eight, the three eighths threads, 
um, so I could uh, so I could test fit it on my my external threads of the bushing to make sure that I cut them properly. So I did that, and then I went in and drilled out the middle here and uh, tapped that for the quarter inch, and it works fine. So everything's good to go. Threads are to spec. All I have to do now is drill this out and tap it for the 3 8 18 uh, oversized bushing. So let's see how that goes. All right, well, I got this drilled out as far as I can. Um, and if I measure my total depth to where my... Uh, the chamfer from the drill bit starts in the back. It's going to be, I already know what it is. It's about 840, 840 thousandths. Now, I got to remember, I've got, this is a plug tap, not a bottom tap. So I've got about 200 thou of depth where there won't be any tap, any threads. And I also need to recess this, this insert a hundred thou for the O-ring that's going to go in there in between the, uh, the washer and the case. So I got to add everything up. I have 840 in there. I have 700 on this. That's got to be recessed a hundred thou. So there's 800 there. And then I got 200 thou of tap length that I can't use in the bottom so that gives us an inch so if this is if this is 840 if I have 840 and right now right actually 830 and right now I'm at an inch I got to take 170 off of this so what I did here is I got a sacrificial banjo bolt I put a little uh, little stopper on there I'm gonna thread my bushing on. It's gonna go on the lathe and I'm gonna cut 170 off the end of this. All right, so I think my tap bottomed out here. So we're gonna back that out. Check these, uh, check this length. See where we wound up. And because this all this is is a passage this way going to a passage that way. So we're going to blow all this out from both ends and then we're going to run this through run this through the washer again. JIC. All right, so I have a uh, sacrificial larger banjo bolt. This is the 3 8 one. I squared up the end of it, so we want to use this as a depth gauge. So we're gonna see how much we get in there. And we wanna cut that bushing as little as possible. So I'm gonna take this exposed length here. So one inch, two eighteen. I'm going to subtract that from the overall length. One inch, eight five one. So I've got 630 something in there. So what I need is, I got my 100 thousandths recess, so 630 minus 100 is 530. So that means my bushing needs to be 530 thousandths. And I actually just cut it and it's 525. So we're good to go. We're gonna put this in, it's gonna be it's going in with goop. So like I said, once it goes in, it's not gonna come out. And I'm gonna make a uh, another tool to insert it. And we'll see how that goes in just a second. 
All right, unfortunately, I did not record any of that. Um, but I got my insert in there. It's all gooped up. The banjo bolt, I'm going to leave it in there while it hardens. Because I think if I try to back that out right now, I think it's going to pull my insert out with it. Because I got it in there real tight. So yeah, we're going to let that be. And we'll come back in 24 hours and see how it goes. But I think this one's a done deal. Going to get this all blown out, all these metal chips out of here. And I'm going to run this through the washer again. And then we're all set.